so you came back for more videos. All right. Um, what I'm doing today, I'm going to try to do is improve my work chiller. I have a very, uh, I have a work chiller that was given to me um, about five years ago. I've used it for dozens and dozens of batches, and it works okay. But it's smaller, narrower tubing, so I don't have as much surface area to cool down the wort. Um, so what I did, I bought 20 feet of um, thicker copper tubing. Oh, it's actually quite a bit thicker. Um, but anyway, this is what I'm going to try to make into uh, a wort chiller. Uh, here's my brew pot. Um, this diameter of this corny keg fits easily into here. I think you kind of would want to make it about as wide as you could to fit into your brew pot. Um, I really don't have another good device to use to wind it around. Some people I've seen use a plastic bucket if that will fit. I'm just going to go with this because I think it'll, it'll be fine. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's start trying to wind it. Here's a quick inventory. 20 feet of copper tubing that is um, 5 8 inch outer diameter. So the larger of the two, you'll also see a half inch outer diameter. Three hose clamps, just big enough to make sure they'll fit over your tubing, which is going to be bigger on the outside uh, than, you know, than your copper tubing. Uh, female garden hose adapter, this one probably can't really see, but it says uh, 5 eighths by 3 quarter. That's what it says there. And this tubing here is 5 eighths inner diameter, so it will fit over the 5 eighths outer diameter. And I just got 8 feet of this, which I think should be plenty. Okay, I was going to start to put this around the keg, but I realized, um, obviously, it's not going to fit as it comes out of the box. So, like I said, I've never done this before, but for starters, I'm just kind of making it big, big enough so that I can slide it all the way over the keg, and then I'm going to try to tighten it around the keg. At least, that is what I think I'm going to do. Am I there yet? So I got it that far, so now I'll work on the tightening. Okay, I've been working on this for a couple minutes. Uh, like I said, I've never done this before, so me making a video on it is basically just me saying, hey, I'm going to give it a shot. If you want to give it a shot, too, uh, hopefully it'll work. I'm not too worried about it being super uniform. Um, you want it to, you know, to look okay, but really, I don't know, it seems like it's really mostly about function more than anything and actually if it is a little bit wider than this than the keg uh, that would be okay just because um, like I said I kind of want it wider just to, so it'll all fit down in the wort but it's really just a matter of you know monkeying around with it uh, bending it you want to you want to be a little careful so you don't get kinks I'm gonna try not to get kinks um, you can actually buy a tube bender, which is a device that you slide over the tubing and then when you bend it, it'll help you minimize kinks. I just thought I would just kind of give it a go without one of those. I'm getting close to it being pretty much wound around. And then I'm going to have to figure out how to try to bend the, the two ends. It's pretty much wound around here. Oh, it looks kind of goofy, but so I'm going to start working on the ends, I think. This is just a quick video not to show you anything uh, helpful other than I'm struggling. Uh, this tubing is pretty rigid, or I should say it's just sort of thicker, so it's harder to bend. And I don't really know how to get leverage, but um, I was just wanted to show this part of it that it is kind of a pain. I have brought the bottom tube, I have bent, bent it, it's coming up in through here and now it's coming out here. So I do have, this part is, is coming along okay and now I'm just going to have to try to get this bottom part back into a, a decent shape. This could almost be called how not to make a wart chiller video. Um, okay, this is my original one. 
very nice and uniform. I don't know if the guy purchased it or made it himself. Very well done. Here's my current one, which is kind of craptastic, but really don't think it matters too much. Um, I even did manage to get a kink in there, but what are you going to do? thing about it, though, is you can see the width is pretty good. It's pretty uh, filling up the brew pot pretty well, and also my wort level is normally going to be down to about here at the end of a boil, so I, I can kind of squish this down if I can do that right now here. Let's see. I can kind of bend it down and get it so, well yeah, I mean that does it right there, that the entire uh, amount of tubing, hey, 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 come on, you put the arm over there. Uh, the entire amount of tubing will be below my wort line, right? So, you know, about like there, which is what you want, because you want all this to be in there. Um, now I just got to put my fittings on here and then try it out. I got it hooked up here. I was doing a test. It, uh, it may possibly be leaking a tiny bit here. It could be either from this part or from the clamp. I'll tighten down the clamp a little bit, but that doesn't really matter because the, 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 the pot is going to be over here. So if it's dripping a little bit off here and just kind of dripping down in there, that doesn't matter. It's not leaking here um, or here. And it is coming out. So really, that's about it. I'm hoping to brew in a week or two and I'll try it out and see if it seems to cool it down faster than my current one.